Now that Kevin's face looks all nice and pretty, and it doesn't look like a lobster anymore, we can start changing his face into a crazy cartoon. Uh, to do this, it's actually real simple. You go to the Filters tab, and then click Liquify. Uh, and once we do that, it brings up a whole new window over the other one. If, if I can drag it out, you can see that the picture behind, uh, behind is still the original. And it's almost a little Photoshop within Photoshop. Now, what this does, it has all kinds of new tools on the left side here that we can use to change things. And the default that is selected is the um, is the forward warp tool. Now, that sounds very intriguing, but really the only thing that it does is if we click and drag, it smudges the picture out a little bit. Um, so let me undo this and show you what it would be like if we made his ear a little bigger. This is this is looking really cool already. Uh, it looks like an elf. Perfect. Okay, so that is the um, that is that tool. Then there's another one, which is called twirl clockwise, and that's pretty easy. Once you click and hold, it starts twirling whatever is in the brush area. So it made his um, ear a little freaky. Uh, so let me undo that. But it gets really funny if you blow up the uh, brush size. And you can do that by going to the right hand side here and pulling the brush size over to make something a little bigger and as you can see right now my brush is huge and I can start moving his whole face like so. Um, then there's some more interesting things that we can use which is this one right here the bloat tool uh, and what that does is if I hold it pressed it blows up whatever is underneath the tool so that's really funny if you want to create a fish eye lens looking thing from your skating pictures or something or if we make the brush size just a little smaller and even a little smaller to make his eyes look all big and alien-ish yes that's it right there are you feeling this this is awesome Okay, now that we have that, let me go back to the um, forward warp tool and start moving some things in. I need to make the brush a little bigger here. And I'm going to start changing the shape of his face a little bit here. Uh, he needs to look like somebody that just landed. You know, his UFO is still outside. He's knocking on your door and you're like, who are you? And then he's like, I'm Kevin. Um, that's perfect. We can make this a little better here. Alright, nice and freaky looking. So um, we can OK this or cancel it. Um, and if we cancel it, everything goes back to normal. If we OK it, um, then it's, then, then it's going to change the picture like you see here. Now if you ever want to go back, then just go to Window and then hit History. And, it, and it, it, it saves the history of everything you're doing on the picture. So I can go back, and as you can see, it changes it back to normal. I could even go up one more step, and it changes whatever we did with the reds and the color spectrums. So that's how you can take your friend's pictures in Photoshop and turn them into something really crazy. Um, in high school, I did all my teachers in high school uh, and made them look really funny, and then... Um, handed them out in school and everybody was pasting them up on the walls and stuff and nobody ever figured out who did it. So if you can get away with something like that, it would be really funny. Make sure you send me some pictures.